Whitey Bulger made his first public statement today since he was arrested after 16 years on the lam. He said not guilty to 19 counts of murder as he was arraigned in federal court in Boston. Bulger is something of a mystery, so we asked Jim Axelrod to give us some insight into the mind of a mobster. Some guesses about what Whitey Bulger's thinking now are more educated than others, like Michael Sullivan's. Think at this point in time, he's you know, thinking about how he can make uh, life as easy as possible for, uh, for himself. The former U.S. attorney in Boston, Sullivan says Bulger may actually believe he's going to beat this, too. He essentially was a uh, one-person crime wave in the city of Boston for decades and suffered little or no consequences as a result of it. So in the back of his mind, he's probably believing at some point in time he's going to be able to escape consequences here as well. I'm extremely angry at, uh, at Whitey. John Shea is intimately acquainted with Bulger's thinking. Is he going to sing now? Sing now? He's, he, the guy's been singing for over 30 years. Shea should know. He's Bulger totally gave him up when Shea was running drugs for him in the 1980s. Shea did 12 years in prison. He says Bulger will say anything to create leverage for himself. He's a fraud. He's a rat. And king rat at that. You know, he's a pretty monstrous guy. Journalist Dick Lair agrees with Shea. His book, Black Mass, details the deals Bulger made with the FBI to save his skin and says any trial could give Bulger more of what he wants, the spotlight, since it's all he's got left. With a guy like him, he may say some things that he's just toying with everyone. It, it may, he just may be concocting things. Because in the eyes of many, he's a sinister manipulator. Listen to Shea, who Bulger helped send to prison, and yet, perhaps stunningly, confesses to some sadness. Because I never had a father. At times, he was a father figure. And that's the sad part that I feel. But of all the feelings about Bulger in Boston now, sadness may be the least common. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York. Other than not guilty, neither Bulger nor his lawyers have commented on the charges.